Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix fatal error or if you are receiving low level fatal error with the game, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once and after the system restart launch the game. Do not ignore this step. For many users, this has worked. Now next step is to try DX11 or DX12 in launch option. So make a right click on the, on the game and then select property in the launch option type in dash dx11 and then launch the game and then check if that does not work again make a right click and go to properties and this time type in dash dx12 and then you can launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this from here and then click on play now once you click on play it will tell you to select direct x11 or direct x12 so from here you can try direct x11 and then click on play if that does not work you can even try direct x12 and check which one is working fine for you now the next step is to unplug racing wheel from your computer now this has worked for many players this has fixed fatal error and crash for many players so if you have any kind of uh, wheels connected to the computer disconnect it also unplug external devices like if you have hotas pedals mouse so if you have any kind of uh, like if you can disconnect mouse you can but I don't think so so you can disconnect all the external devices which you're not using or any kind of additional USB adapter or dongle connected to the computer and then launch the game and sometimes we have extra controller connected so if you have extra controller connected or USB dongle connected disconnect it and then launch the game next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder for this make a right click on the game select manage then click on browse local files it will take you to the game installation folder. Now open this chain together folder and then binaries win64 and then scroll down and find the exe file. So here you can see the exe file. Make a right click on the game exe file, select properties and then go to the second tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator. Hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game from here. So you can make a double click over here and then still not working then go to now this time put a check over here and then select windows 8 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working this time you can select windows 7 over here and then hit apply click on ok launch the game from here if that does not work put a check on disable full screen optimizations and then hit apply click on ok and then make a double click launch the game from here if that does not work you can go back do the same thing with the first exe file this exe file make a right click select properties and then go to the second tab put a check on run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok launch the game if that does not work put a check select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check if that does not work disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working in that case so when you put a check on all these boxes still it's not working then you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok and then open this folder binaries win64 do the same thing with the second exe file make a right click select properties and then you can uncheck these boxes if it is not working and then follow the next step now the next step is to now if you are using any third party antivirus like Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee whichever antivirus program you, you are using allow the game exe file to your antivirus program i am not using any antivirus program third party antivirus program i am using windows security now if you are using windows security open windows settings go to privacy and security if you have windows 11 if you have windows 10 you will have updated update and security option now click on windows security and then click on virus and threat protection now scroll down at the end you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app now click on browse all apps now go to the game installation folder so if the game is installed in c drive open c drive program file 686 now open the steam folder now open the steam apps folder now open the common folder and then open the game folder and then select this exe file and then click on open again click on add an allowed app browse all apps now go to the Go to chain together folder, binaries folder, win64, select this exe file and then click on open and then 
type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel go to system and security windows defender firewall now click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings on the top click on allow on the app click on browse and then go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file click on open and then click on add in my case the game is already added again click on allow another app now click on browse and then open chain together folder binaries win64 select this exe file and then click on open and then click on add now once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then check now it's still not working then the next step is to delete the config file now when you delete the config file you will lose all the saved settings now to delete the config file you can open file explorer go to this pc open c drive now open users folder now open your username folder now open app data folder if you don't see app data on the top click on view select show and then put a check on hidden items and then you should be able to see app data open app data folder now open the local folder now open chain together folder now open save folder and over here you can see the config folder you can make a right click on config folder and you can delete this folder and then you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can delete the save game files now before you delete the save game files let me inform you you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch so if you agree you can just go back and you can in this in this location you can see chain together you can make a right click and then click on delete once this folder is deleted now you can launch the game and then check next step is to perform clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website and then select a product type for me it's geforce experience so i'll select geforce now for product series select your series so make sure that you select your series and select your graphic card make sure that you select your graphic card over here and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and this is game ready driver now click on search and then click on download now once the download is complete uh, run the exe file so click on download once again and once the download is complete you can run this exe file now once you run the exe file click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete after the installation restart your computer and then you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphics settings in windows search box and then go to graphics settings and then click on browse over here and then go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder and then select this exe file and then click on add once the game is added click on options and then select high performance over here and then click on save again click on browse and then this time open chain together binaries win 64 select this exe file click on add once the game is added click on options select high performance and then click on save also make sure that in device manager graphics card are enabled sometimes we disable the graphic card so go to device manager and expand display adapter and make sure both are enabled over here so if you disable it uh, you will see disable option like enable option so you can make a right click and then click on enable make sure both are activated both are enabled the next step is to verify the game files now for this make a right click on the game select properties and then go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is 100 percent complete then you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to verify um, sorry go to this location so actually go to the game installation folder so open this pc c drive program files x86 now open steam steam apps and then open the common folder open the game folder and then open the engine folder open extras folder redist folder and then us folder now make a right click over here and then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow and then click on agree 
install and once this is done uh, you can restart your computer and then launch the game first of all try to launch the game without system restart if that does not work you can simply restart your computer once and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to install visual c++ file now this is important so open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website here you can see visual issue 2015 17 19 and 22 download x86 and x64 so click on x86 and then you can run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install click on yes to allow and then download x64 file as well again once the download is complete run this exe file as well again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see install option click on install click on yes to allow and let make sure both are installed once the installation is complete then you will see a restart option over here restart your computer and then launch the game so make sure that you restart your computer after the installation and then you can check now the next step is to update windows to the latest version now this is important so go to windows update or update and security do not ignore this so click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to disable overlay now for this you can go to the steam and then make a right click on the game select properties and then in general option turn off this option which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then check also close all the other overlay applications so like if you have discord overlay on in discord you can turn it off you can turn off overlay in discord you can turn off overlay in g force experience so close all the overlay application and then check also close all the overclocking applications so if you have msi afterburner revert tuner or any any kind of overclocking application you can close it and then check now next step is to perform clean boot now for this type in system configuration in windows search box and then click on system configuration click on system configuration now go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services and then click on disable all in my case this option is grayed out disable all is grayed out i already did it in your case this would be highlighted but make sure that you first of all put a check on hide all microsoft services first and then click on disable all and then click on apply click on okay you will see a restart option restart your computer and then launch the game also if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then check next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so 
So in my case, initial size is 24576. 24576. And maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case, that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte. Now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152. 49152. 49152. Now click on set over here. Then click on OK. OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now, the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game. So if nothing is working, you can make a right click on the game and then select prop and select manage, then click on uninstall. Now, after you uninstall it, go to the game installation folder and delete the game folder, then restart your computer and then reinstall the game to C drive. So if, if you have installed the game to D drive or E drive, any external drive, then in that case, you can install the game to C drive and then check if the game is already installed to C drive. In that case, you can install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.